Hey guys, welcome back to Comigan TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on The Culture of Comics, we're taking a look at the golden age of comic book history. So stay tuned. The golden age of comics began in 1938 when superheroes exploded onto the scene. The majority of modern civilization recognized Superman to be the first comic book superhero, making his debut in Action Comics No. 1 in June of 1938. However, Superman wasn't the only superhero to debut in that comic. In fact, Zatara, Master Magician, also debuted in the same issue. He of course later went on to father Zatanna, who made multiple appearances in comics but gained popularity in shows such as Justice League Unlimited, Smallville, Young Justice, and others. One hero, however, made her first comic book appearance earlier than that. Sheena, the Jungle Queen, made her debut in WAGS No. 46 in January of 1938, beating Superman to the title of first comic book superhero. Sheena went on to claim another victory in comics by becoming the first female comic book character with her own title in the spring of 1942. By contrast, Wonder Woman made her first appearance in All-Star Comics No. 8 in 1941, and then featuring for the first time in Sensation Comics No. 1 in January of 1942. Wonder Woman actually didn't receive her own self-titled series until the summer of 1942 with Wonder Woman No. 1. In 1939, the Avenger broke onto the scene and assembled the first ever team in comics, Justice Incorporated beating the Justice Society of America to the title as they made their debut appearance in All-Star Comics No. 3 in the winter of 1940. Dynamite Comics would later retell this origin story and join the Avenger with Doc Savage and the Shadow in Justice Incorporated. The Avenger would go on to inspire the British television series The Avengers in 1961, which later became the film that ended Sean Connery's career as well as Earth's Mightiest Heroes Marvel's The Avengers in Avengers No. 1 in 1963. Also in 1939, two separate heroes with the same gimmick would appear in comics across America, Batman and the Black Bat. For years since, a quiet battle has raged over which came first. The Black Bat, however, would go on to inspire both Daredevil and the Batman villain Two-Face. The character of the Black Bat was an attorney who was blinded by a mob boss with a vial of acid and gained a sonar sense. As many know, the origins of Two-Face and Daredevil are extremely similar. Daredevil came into being when the son of a boxer was involved in an accident involving toxic waste that fell off a truck and got into young Matt Murdock's eyes, blinding him but giving him a sonar sense as well. The Batman villain Two-Face was a district attorney who was prosecuting a mob boss while on the stand, the crime boss threw a vial of acid into Harvey Dent's face, scarring it and breaking his psyche in two. Marvel's Daredevil, in turn, inspired the creation of pop culture icons, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, whose origins were shown to coincide with Daredevil's as being the result, unofficially, of the same toxic waste which fell off the truck that blinded Matt Murdock and gave him his abilities. Daredevil, however, wasn't only inspired by the Black Bat. The character's own superhero identity was actually taken from a superhero by the same name who made his debut in Silver Streak No. 6 in 1940. The original version of Daredevil was mute due to a psychological trauma of seeing his father murdered when he was just a boy, and himself being branded with a red-hot iron. The boy went on to be raised by Aborigines and became an expert with a boomerang. This, of course, later inspired the villains Boomerang from Marvel Comics and Captain Boomerang from DC Comics. Today, the character is known as the Death-Defying Devil. Having lost the copyright on his name prior to Marvel's Daredevil's debut and falling into the public domain. While most of America recognized Captain America as the nation's first patriotic hero, there was actually one before him. 
debuting in Pep Comics No. 1 in 1940, which later went on to become Archie MLJ Comics. The Shield beat Captain America to the title of America's first star-spangled hero. In fact, the Shield is actually the reason why Captain America went from a triangular-style shield in his first appearances to the saucer-shaped shield we're all familiar with. This is because of the character the Shield's design. His original costume was a suit of armor that had a triangular-shaped shield over the entire torso, protecting the character, which was nearly identical to Captain America's original weapon of choice. In 1941, comic book artist Tarpe Mills became the first major female comic book artist when she created the character The Black Fury. Due to another male character of the same name debuting about the same time, however, The Black Fury was later renamed to Miss Fury. During World War II, U.S. wartime pilots painted depictions of the character Miss Fury on their planes to help inspire and motivate them, along with model Betty Page. Mills paved the way for future female comic book artists and writers due to her name. At the time, it was unheard of for women to work in comics. However, being that correspondence between Mills and the publisher was mainly via mail, the publisher thought the name Tarpe was actually a male name and didn't find out until later that the contributor was actually female, and by then it was too late. Miss Fury would go on to inspire the Batman villain anti-hero Catwoman, as both characters don stylized cat suits and burglarize the wealthy. Miss Fury's suit, however, grants her enhanced strength, speed, and agility. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.